Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. Um, today we're going to do a penny haul of what I got last week, um, last, last Tuesday when everything, like several things pennied. Um, last Tuesday was like an epic penny day for us penny shoppers because there was so many things that pennied. It was just, it was a, it was a fun day and I really did get a great haul and so I'm thankful for that. Um, definitely <laughs> was a busy day for me and a tiring day, but I definitely enjoyed it. Me and my kids had a lot of fun. But um, I was excited because so many of these like clothing items that pennied out were all summer items, which doesn't usually happen. When things penny out, usually they are out of season. Um, as blue dot and um, gray dot penny, that's all like winter things. So I was excited that this stuff pennied out. But I'm going to show you on here how many items I got. I got 95 items and the value of what they would have been was $403 and I paid of course 95 cents. So that just blows my mind, even still, as much as I penny shop, that you can get things for a penny and spend under a dollar for 95 items. It's just, it's mind blowing and it's exciting. It's still, like I said, such an adrenaline rush. Every week I go or every time there's a good penny list, it's just, it's still, it just amazes me. And I was going to let you know on here, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will be glad to help you with any questions that you have. I'm not a pro. I'm not, you know, know everything, but I have been doing this for about two years now and I do have some knowledge in this area. I have gotten some really good hauls and I, I would be glad to help you if you have any questions and if it's something that I may not know the answer to or um, if you're looking for the list, the new list and things like that, I can always steer you to some people who do that more and are more you know in depth with that and I would be glad to do that. So if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments. Okay, for that table with all the baby clothes, it was 56 items for a value of $332.25. And of course, I spent 56 cents. I um, did not get printed receipts for every place that I went to um, just because they were so long. But as you can see on this one, I got 82 items for 82 cents and then of course plus tax. I got 29 boxes of glasses. Um, that ended up surprise pen pennies. They were not on a list. Um, I also got those two sets of dishes that were surprise pennies. The stars bowls. All the like florals and these things that I'm showing here. They were all Easter which pennied out to that day as well. These baskets were something else that surprise pennied. So I got a really good haul on top of, you know, the penny list and then of course things that surprised penny, which I have been keeping an eye on a lot of those items already just because I keep up with what is, um, what is marking down so that I know like what's going to penny next. Cause sometimes, um, if you put it in your list, then you can keep an eye on it on your app to see when it's going to penny next. So that just helps. But for that table, I had a total of 61 items and the value was $326. And of course I paid 61 cents. Here's another receipt where you can see that I got 76 items, um, of course for 76 cents. Again, as a penny shopper, it's awesome when you're able to find things that are actually in season because like I said before, when things penny, it's usually like winter things and they penny in the summer or summer things that penny in the winter. So it was great to get some shoes that I could use actually now in the summer or resell or give away. Okay, for all the shoes and the pens, that was 48 items, which was the value of $332.50 and I paid 48 cents. And um, if you take the 14 pins off, that was 34 pairs of shoes for under 50 cents. That is just crazy. And then I also went a few days later and I found some stuff at a store I wasn't able to go to. And I was shocked that it was like three or four days later that I was able to still find some stuff. I found some more of those star bowls and I found these mugs, which I didn't know that they were a penny, but I was just scanning stuff and found them. So I found six of those. And then I found the wire basket that they're sitting in. And then I found some more of those wood spoons, which those are really nice for gifts. But as you can see, I found 11 more items, which was a value of $40. So I spent 11 cents on $40 worth of stuff. But that is all that I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing this haul. If you like hauls like this, please let me know. And also, if you have any questions about penny shopping, just leave them in the comments and I will help you out as much as I can. But I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see you in the next one.